big city folk. They get all wound up. They're always in a hurry to get somewhere. Look at that guy. He's just walking down the middle of the street. He's going to get greased. In a quarter mile, turn left onto East Valencia Road. There we go. We are in southern Arizona. Mexico is right over there, not very far away. And we are meeting with, let's see, we got Brian Call, one of his buddies, David Brinker, uh, the hunting public, the Hushin guys, uh, four or five Arizona game and fish friends, I think we just did the math, there's going to be 17 of us here. So if you see people coming in and out of the frame who you don't know who they are, we probably don't know who they are either. So we're not going to take the time to introduce them all. Everybody's got deer tags or licenses for quail, jackrabbits, Mondays, ducks. Oh, and then in three days we got uh, some falconers coming. We're going duck hunting with falcons. That's going to be the highlight of the trip. And you've heard it here folks, I am shooting the first deer that has even a protruding knob on its head. Really my preference is a buck with antler about that long and we're going to start in my new natural history museum, the one of its kind, the Sonoran Dick Dick. What are you doing back there, Michael? Just being, just being a cameraman back here, hanging out. Yeah, anxious to, to get to camp. Ready to lay down some average footage. Ready to lay down some average footage. Huh. Where are we gonna back the trailer? I think right over here. We're gonna have a parking problem here. Life sucks when you get old. Shoulders don't work. But your equipment works. I can't say that all work, but obviously my equipment's working. We'll stop at that. Old mess. I'll work. Now the trick of this operation is to keep the camera guys from throwing all their stuff <laughs> on your gear. What's shaking? So. Not much, man. You guys are already ready to get going hunting or hey, look at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still got jet lag pretty bad. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Arizona. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Randy. My pleasure. I'm Aaron. This is Jeff. Yeah. Greg, how are you doing? Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. We're gonna go do a little hunt and then see you guys back here, I guess, right? Even if there was a buck, I couldn't shoot it anyhow. I can't shoot a buck five minutes from camp. We're on our way down here about an hour, and Marcus says, Stop! The mule deer standing right there. I only shoot him if we're a mile from, or an hour from camp. <laughs> you know there's probably a buck bedded right there. I know there's a buck somewhere around there. In the peak of the rut. But I'm not shooting, I'm right next to camp.
You see it? Was it a deer? A buck? So I'm standing here and looking down in the hole and I hear the camera guys, Randy, 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 Randy. I look back, I'm like what? Over here to my right, there's a buck walking along the ridge. We're a minute from the truck. I told him we gotta be at least five minutes from the truck, so I think it'll take us four minutes to get over to where he is. in this ridge up above us. We were on our way out here to just set up a glass. And uh, he disappeared right down about where we're standing. So I thought, well, the previous two years I've been here, my best luck has been when I found a buck that's rutting and just cruising. And that's what he was doing, so I thought I'd come over here and see if I could get... There's a deer right there. Not that male side. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, we came over this to this little point there to see if we could see where that buck disappeared. And on our way over here, Marcus said, This is Popcorn Ridge, is what he calls it. Because last year he was over here, Avelina Hun. And he said, Every place he went, a deer would get up and they were just like little white pieces of popcorn. Usually I wouldn't just take off after him, but I thought he was all alone. And I thought he was just, just gonna cruise, which would have given us our best chance. Uh, we're not, we won't have time to make a stock on anything this evening, but at least if we get up here in class, we'll be able to see what's going on. So what we're doing is one of the most pleasurable, flat out, just fun things that I look forward to every year. We're in Southern Arizona, Mexico's right over there. And we are looking for those little white-tailed deer, technically called cow's deer, but everyone calls them coos. Javelina, Mern's quail, ducks, jackrabbits, if it's edible, it's here. And here's the great part. I already have my license because I apply for the elk, antelope, deer, sheep drawings. 
So I already got that in my pocket. And it's a time of year back home, honey, wife. I am uh, don't want to tell you this, but it's 67 degrees here today. Back home is probably hmm, 20. <laughs> and this is all public land. You just go, you hunt. We've got so many friends down here. We got some that specialize in quail, some that are serious whitetail hunters, some that are just like me that whatever it is, it's fine with me. And uh, so for the next week, we're all going to be out here archery hunting for deer, possibly javelina. A couple of us have archery javelina tags. Um, quail. We're having some friends come who have falcons. So we're going to do falconry for waterfowl. I don't know how we could have any more fun than what we're going to have this week. That's about all we have to report here from the Mexican border on day one. We were looking for the wall. There's a wall right over there, just over those ridges. So we'll give you an update, daily update on the wall. We'll walk down and check on it. So day one from the Mexican border in the books. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.